Hello, 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 everyone. I hope that you hear us, and welcome to another <laughs> episode of Airstreamers, where you literally know what, uh, never know what stream will ride, or if there will even be a stream. A sh there could be a stream, there could be a stream with no audio, but who knows what in the world could happen? <laughs> oh, thank God you can hear us. So thank you all so much for bearing with us amidst this uh, dumpster fire of a travesty. Uh, Chrissy said it's nice and clear. That makes me so happy. Hello, Cotton uh, Candy. That Hi, is Jody. Awesome. Uh, I'm so happy. It is happy. nice and clear. I'm looking at it on my phone. It looks great. Oh, my goodness. Love it. Um, this is news to my ears. Is that a thing? Is that a saying? Yeah, news. So, a song. The it, nose knows. The nose knows. Uh, I am beside myself uh, at how happy I am that this is going. Meepo said, oh my God, I had like four Twitch tabs open and the echo was epic with the stream going on multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is on brand for us. I was saying that to Chris as we were in the midst of um, what? Like, I, I wish I wish that we were recording the past five minutes because it went from we're chill, everything's great, to a cartoon, you know, like when um, when there's like a brawl and there's a, the cloud with the like arms coming out everywhere. Not that we were brawling. It was just the, the chaos of us like running around, grabbing things, unplugging things, trying things was pretty intense. Um, so, yeah, we are here, though. We are doing it. We just get into this panic mode when it doesn't work. And I know it's funny and I know it's on brand, but we just go like, oh, my God, it's not working. What do we have to do? We have to fix it quickly. And it's like, it's going to be OK. And it's going to be we fun. have to work on our ability to control that. Yes. When it's like when it's stress chaos. central. Um, I am going to I don't think I realized just how big I made the text block here. So I'm going to just do that. This Chris and just not have it on here. There we go. Or you you know what you could do? You could slide it over to my left. Yeah, but I think it's uh, should I try it? Yeah, I think you should because it's just do it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. There, there go. we go. Look at, look, look at this. Look at this. And I can this. like hug it now. Oh my God. Look at the magic of the internet. Oh my I God. Chris is literally hugging, all, hugging of you. all of you. I can't. This is amazing. <laughs> Leanne said that. So uh, we were outside. We were on Instagram just before this uh, stream. And we were sitting Thanks, outside. Leslie. And we made grilled cheese, um, which was is Elias's, one of Elias's favorite meals. Um, and so we're sitting outside and it was like a little drizzle that came through and it was nice because it kind of cooled it off a little bit it is a little hot outside a um, little hot yeah oh. it's pretty like, that's stuffy. what the hum is by the way i was going to mention it to you there's a hum in the background you probably are hearing and that is the uh, air conditioning unit in our airstream like doing its thing so and so we were sitting outside and as i was sitting outside i was thinking wow there are no bugs it's great and um then i felt like a bite on my shoulder and i felt a bite on my um calf and uh it was like a monster mosquito that just it was a third nipple on you yeah leanne said put vinegar on it but we don't have any vinegar do you think tzatziki would work what <laughs> yeah i was because just gonna say has vinegar <laughs> how do we separate the vinegar out of tzatziki <laughs> oh my god i think it could work. um the, callie is not here so hello lana hi everyone uh who's tuning in um uh, grilled cheese is one of my island foods uh which you if you are listening to our podcast air streamers on apple podcast um Oh, no, you don't know that it's an island food yet because PPS5 didn't l launch yet. Yeah. Ah, well, spoiler alert on my part. Whoops. Well, uh, PPS4 is out, so you can hear all about Chris's island food endeavors. Uh, and if you don't know what island food is, you'll find out from the podcast. So... Um, you had muscle pump from Jess boot camp. They went for the blood. Oh, that my is God. so true. Can you guys... Yeah, this morning was a lot. So I went to bed like what's considered early on a friday now for us at like what 12 31 yeah, yeah so i i go to bed and i'm like i i need to go to bed because i need to get up semi early for this jess sims 60 minute boot camp i didn't look at it like earlier 
But Leanne was texting me and saying like, uh, Jess is talking up how bad this boot camp is going to be. So I'm literally going to bed like with nightmares coming, like knowing that tomorrow morning is going to be hell. And then I went and I opened up the Peloton app on the tread and went to the class and it was marked as an advanced class. And I swore like the last week's class was advanced. Was advanced. I think I remember you telling and me And so that. I'm so confused why now there's a second advanced class in a row. And it was, it was hard. Mozzie, disgusting humidity as well. I don't know what possessed me, but I went for a run. And I think what possessed me was that while Chris did his advanced boot camp and got like ripped and burned a billion calories and opened up his body to freedom to eating as much cheesecake and cake as he wants this weekend, Ooh, that we I was that. sleeping in the bed with the cats, all of them on me. And I was every five minutes i'm like i should probably get up and do something i should probably get up and work out i should probably get up and do tonal and it just kept going and i did nothing so then when we got here i felt like well i should probably do something and i ran i don't know why i did this why people choose to do these things on like a vacation but i ran in this disgusting humidity um it started drizzling i only ran a mile and a half and i got, it felt like I was just dead. No, I sat dead. outside while you were doing it, drinking a beer. And you know, I was like, I don't know how or why he's doing this. I don't know. Yeah. But you did it. I did it. Yeah. So I felt good. Jody said it's horrible up here in uh, New Hampshire as well. Record heat this week maybe hit the hundreds. Uh, Jody, uh, I'm sorry, Heidi, you posted something that was like. Um, I think you posted it where it was saying something about how these hundred degree days or whatever, like everyone needs to get used to them because that's going to be the new baseline going forward because of like climate change and stuff. Oh, um, I'm not here for that. No, I'm not here for that. So we I'm need to get our a act mole together. man and live in the ground then. That's fine. We can live in the ground together. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'll join you wherever you go. Okay. Cause that's what husbands do. Do you <laughs> become mole people together and, and live out their lives in the, in the, yeah, mole, I mean, somebody, the mole tunnels. Listen, this is not the first idea for people to be mole, mole people. I'm sure that there are other mole people living their best lives right now. Maybe even listening to this stream. Maybe. And we support their decisions. I do want to just um, touch on the one camping trip that we had. <laughs> A mole man. Uh, to Rhode Island that one time. No, I don't know I mean, if we talked bad. about it. We did. We did talk about it. But I mean, you want you can share. I feel it like it's just relevant to this because we went to a campground. Leanne Sue Sue is watching the babies. That is was just like an open field more or less. And so we were a just pasture as Chris called it. Uh, yeah, right. we just had our camper on this open pasture and that just caused the sun to cook us from the outside in. And it was so hot in here. We had the air conditioning. Oh, no, we didn't have electricity. No, we were, Chris. I don't know how we survived it. We didn't have we electricity. It was so hot. And so we all we could run was the fan. And I think your brother bought a generator. Yeah, he went to Home Depot and bought a generator because they were dying. Because they were with the with our goddaughter, too, I think. Or no, we did have a generator. Remember, that's the first time I think we brought our generator. Because then remember. they bought a generator yeah. because of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. But still, I mean, you feel bad running the generator all the time because it's so loud and, like, people are there to camp. And so... Yeah, you feel bad. So And you can't run it during quiet hours. And so we, uh, we ran it trying to get it cold in there, and then we would turn it off, and then, like, it would instantly cook us again. Sam and oh Watson, God, that's so a bad. hard, hard no for me. Oh, so the, the podcast from today that we just recorded before we went live, um, I'm not going to spoil some of the content in it, but there is a, there's an aspect of a story that I told that, remember, Chris, we were saying about what would we skip? That, what um, Sam and Watson is saying about like not having AC, I do not do well in non-AC settings. Me that's neither. actually what I even said. How funny is that? Yeah, me neither. No, right. like in the podcast, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Similarly. So that's a hard, hard no for me. Um, yeah, so 
Uh, I am making a decision right this moment that we need to get to wine o'clock now. I'm here for that. Because it has been, I mean. Should we try different wine glasses given given our uh, ability to not spill drinks? What wine glasses do you want? The Yeti ones. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, because it's just, or the spill proof ones. Yeah, that. Let's do that. Oh, that's like, we're lit- we've are we literally devolved no. to sippy cups. You don't understand, folks. <laughs> Yesterday, I uh, the stream ended, and um, we were cleaning everything up. And I, I don't know if you can see this thing I'm tapping on, but I pulled the cable from the back, and it went farther out and easier out than I expected it to. And... Um, why is the oh I got to move the wine o'clock chat that too. So anyway, it came out really quickly, and Chris's wine glass was right behind that, and it just launched wine everywhere <laughs> in the sunroom. I like don't all know. over the Chris's red, recliner. Yeah, red wine all over. And so we're cleaning up, and it's just like misery at this point. And then uh, today, but I don't understand how did the wine come out of the. Oh, perfectly. Yeah. No, like I think, it must be scotch guarded or something. No, I think that like if you buy good enough furniture, like there is an element of the fabric that they're using and what they're doing with it. To, uh, I think it's like a part of the sales pitch of them. Like it, not that they're necessarily spill proof, but that they're likely to not retain stains more than like a T-shirt or something, you know? Oh, well, I was impressed. I mean, so, it all came out. I yeah. was like, oh, well, we got to throw this out now. Oh, I'm a total klutz. And so then... Um, Today, we went on Instagram Live and we were on Muskrat Nation doing a little tour of our campground or of our airstream. And Chris goes inside the bathroom with the patch that we're going to give away tonight to show off the glow in the darkness, which we'll also do on this. No, we can't do it on the stream. Never mind. Joking. And um, so he goes in there for 30 seconds. I had to go to grab my beer, which is right here. And I there was a cozy, you know, one of those stupid can cozies on it. And I just misjudged what girth I needed. Right? I mean, is there any <laughs> other better way to say that? No. And I hit it and it knocked again on this thing I'm touching. Uh, maybe it's this. This has been the problem. It's like magnetically attracted. It wants to drink. No, it, yeah, it was the, spilled yesterday. Today didn't work. I spilled something on it. And then, so Chris comes out of the bathroom and he's like, he sees me totally just on the floor, mopping it all up. Uh, and then, do you know what he does? This is <laughs> one of my favorite things that I've ever experienced. Chris do. Um, so I need to demonstrate with this wine glass. Hold on. So imagine this is the bottle, the beer bottle, and I have it right here. And we cleaned everything up and we're making sure that they didn't get on the electronics and stuff. And then Chris picks up the beer, uh, the beer bottle. It's it. There's liquid in it. Like any normal human person would recognize there's liquid in it. And he goes to look at the bottom of the cozy, the can cozy. And he does this <laughs> and just <laughs> fully spills the beer so stupid. everywhere. I mean, it's no different than like if a child, like a toddler ran up to the beer bottle and just took it and like turned it upside down because they wanted to see what would happen. Do you know what I mean? Unbelievable. You know? So. Oh, Ice and Fireball. Thank you hi, for ice following. And Fireball, and thank we you for following as well. That's Welcome very sweet to of you. the Airstreamers. Yeah. And I, I saw uh, Pink NS is getting her um, second vaccine soon. Congratulations. Too shy for, on Tuesday, I think. Too shy for you just got it today. So that's exciting. I think things are starting to get back to normal. Oh, wait, what's that? What's this? Oh, uh, Ice and Ice Fireball is hosting us. Oh, that's, that's cool. I don't even I don't know what that means. I think we've ever done that before, but that's super love it. sweet of you. Thank you, Ice Fireball uh, eighteen, and and welcome to our. We channel. are on so. a campground in New York State, in the United States, and um, yeah, we're streaming this live from the internet from the airstream. <laughs> Did you say in the United States? I don't know where Ice and Ice Fireball is. From. Oh, I thought you were just being like generic. You know? No, I mean he said good. 
good day me so i was right right, right. He, he no was, no he totally she was from australia but what i'm saying is i thought you know like we uh, typically don't like specify like where we're living and stuff like i thought you were just saying we are at a campground in like north jersey but that your generalization brought you to america and i'm like it's like saying we're camping on earth <laughs> That's what I was. That's why I'm. I'm sort it, of it wouldn't at that. be a lie. It wouldn't be a lie. So, oh, I, from Sydney. How oh, funny is that? awesome. Uh, we are currently watching Drew Paul's Drag Race from Down Under, and uh, oh, they're so good. They're so good, and we're having a blast. So, uh, I really want to go to Australia, but I am absolutely terrified of the spiders. So. Leslie said, I can't believe how clear your audio and video is. Don't think it could be better. I'm so happy to hear that. This yeah, I don't think we so have happy. to do a rewatch. Though. No, yeah, I think we're good. But Christopher. Yeah, let's do the. I need wine. Thank you for following. Um, Ma I, can you read the name, Chris? Uh, Mansour 14. Mansour for 14, 14. Thank you for following. Welcome okay, to the Okay, let me the, get the uh, other Airstreamers. wine glasses. And yes. then. Do you mind also putting this away? Because I have absolutely no idea how this works. And I don't want to pull it. I'm going to break it again. Yeah. Uh, and folks, I ended up chipping my, oh, the camera's here. I'm chipping my nail. I'm not giving you the finger, but I chipped this middle finger and I am devastated because these were so long and time consuming to do. And I love them and they're super cute, but now there's like a, a crack in it and I'm super disappointed. So the spiders are horrible, but you do get used to them. Okay, Ice and Fireball, welcome to the channel. And one fact about me that you now will learn is I am incredibly homophobic or homophobic. <laughs> Jesus. What? Where did that, was that a weird like Freudian what? slip? That is the weirdest thing that you can say. Literally with the, your I husband just, in the Airstream with you. I'm pointing out the nail color. I'm wearing pride gear up and down. Oh and I'm proudly God. proclaiming that I'm homophobic. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am We literally donated to the to the on the ride up we were listening to a, a virtual pride parade and we donated to one of their causes so elias uh <laughs> i would like our money back then if you I are in fact am homophobic dead wait oh. wait wait excuse oh my God. me i'm just Chris. going right in um i am not homophobic <laughs> zero hold I'm the dead. plug on that one um <laughs> thanks, oh, jody. thank you jody <laughs> so i am incredibly arachnophobic Okay, and I grew up in Greece and there were a lot of crazy spiders there and I feel like those traumatized me and it doesn't help that like my brother once flicked something at me and like pretended it was a spider and I nearly died and then one of our early um, times that I was dating Chris, he did something similar to me and I got so mad, like so I was screaming at him at the Oh yeah, that. that was a big Scream fight. Yeah, we got into like a fight over it because he felt- Not like a physical fight. No, 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 he, but he felt that I like shouldn't have yelled at him that, that way because it was like just a prank. I was, I'm sitting here watching Sutton lose her mind in Tahoe and saying, why is she that way? Because it's just a prank. Meanwhile, I acted the same way. Mm, yeah, this is true. You, you are know, Sutton. And from Beverly Hills yeah. Housewife. So yeah, not for me. So listen, folks, we are moving to wine o'clock and this portion of the, uh, of the show me and Chris taste a brand new wine. We review it out of seven muskrats, which are our cats. And that's it. Here we go. Uh, one thing I just want to do. You pick this one, right? Yes. But one thing I just want to do is move the game chat. Sorry, folks, for this game chat that we're doing something new today with all of this, uh, like, camp stuff. So I'm moving the game chat. Okay, there we go. All right, so this wine is called Vigilance. Do you know what Vigilance means? Yeah, like to be aware. Like you're aware of your surroundings. I'm vigilant. Not like vigilante. I thought Vigilance has more to do with like strength. Am I wrong? I think it's awareness. Does anyone know, can anyone Google what Vigilance means and type in the like the definition into the chat? Because I just I have like thoughts that I want to say about this, but I don't want them to be completely like also um, off the cuff. It's uh, probably should have looked it up beforehand. And um, second is that is this a language lesson that you didn't do or 
the action or state of keeping careful watch for possible danger or difficulty. Yeah, like awareness. Like you're like... Okay, never mind then. My story for this is not at all... I, for some reason, was going on the route that it was like perseverance style, like that kind of definition. And I was going to talk about pride and how the LGBT community had to persevere and conquer so much. Then I was going to tie it into Britney and the whole free Britney movement. But we can, I guess... Let's you know, spin it. So scratch what that. are we we are vigilant. But wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's just do this and then we'll like off okay. wine o'clock we'll okay. talk about those things. So as as vintners, is it, it is our honor and responsibility to care for the land that sustains us, to preserve the environment for our children and generations to come. Every bottle of wine that we make is truly a harmonious expression of the earth and our commitment to it. These are sustainably farmed wines. Um, from v Vigilant. The vintage is 2017. It is 13.9% alcohol. Um, and in the back, it's aged on French oak for 15 months. Our Vigilance Cabernet Sauvignon has complex layers of... Do you want me to not do say this? And I'm curious if you can guess. That would no, just because be then I'm going to get... I'm always like... I have... I can guess, but it always tastes like tobacco to me. Like wine. It tastes like wine. Yeah. Right? So we're going to pour yeah. some of this and see how we like it. So would you like to do the pouring? I can. I can't do the up close pour on this version of our setup. Yeah, this is a whole brand new setup, by the way. So it's just uh, a whole a whole. And you lot. can't see what I'm pouring in here. I mean, it could be, it could be uh, white wine. Who knows? I think this Ice is Ice Fireball says, not to scare anyone from coming to Australia, but spiders do nest in your toilets. So if you come, make oh, sure wow. you check first. Do you know how horrifying that is for me? And this leads me to a story that I'd like to share. This is a generous pour. I just committed and I'm, okay. it's like, it, it's okay because we're on vacation. Um, I just would like to ask the question of, did I ever talk about the poop story of mine in Greece at my grandfather's village on stream. No, I don't think you have. Okay, well that's something to share for tonight. Which I'm I can't even believe that I'm sharing. Getting notes of tobacco. It's it it this one smells a little Alright, forget about the tobacco. Just go other other ways. Currants? Yes. Black currants. No current currants. Oh okay. black what? Okay, well, I'm going to just go in for the kill and see what it is. Carrots? Do you get notes of carrots? <laughs> I, I'm telling I you. I can totally hear Do you or, know it? Or, like, uh, taste the carrots. I mean, obviously, it's not like mm. carrot juice, but I get carrots. Jody's asking the really important questions. How many How dust many bunnies? How many dust bunnies? Yeah, I mean, the dust bunnies here are eating carrots. I forget about the um, dust bunny metric. I, what is it out of? Seven? It's out of seven. I mean, this one is slightly less dusty, I would say. If I were to... It, I do get dust. I do get dust, too. But I don't get a lot of dust. So if it's out of seven, I would say it's probably like two dust bunnies. 13.9%. So I was going to say three dust bunnies. I don't know if I'm allowed to rank the no, dust. Yeah, but, of course you can. Everybody can rank but the yeah, dust bunnies. So. Bone dust. Aw, thank you, Jody. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jody. Um, so, Chris, what other things do you think are in this? Okay, so I said currants. I yeah. said carrots. Uh-huh. Um, are there always three? I feel like there's always three. This one has one, two, three, four. Oh, wow. You said you said currants. Uh -huh. Then that's correct. You okay. get the, you get that right. Um, what are some other like? Uh, maybe there's some kind of fruit in here. Mm -hmm. Is there like a uh, passion fruit? No. Remember before you said black something, and I'm like, I was blackberries. Out. No. Um, black licorice. That's not a fruit. Yeah, I mean, it has to come from something. Think of Faya brands or Faya blackberries. You said blackberries and I said no. Black. I don't know. What else? Blueberries. 
black cherries. Black cherries. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of get that. And one more that you could probably guess. It's a it it's a smells dessert-y like, thing. like the sandpaper aisle in Home Depot. Home Depot, Depot. yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so by <laughs> Final uh, notes that we're getting on this are... Wait, that means then that it's way more dusty than you think. It, Sawdust. Yeah. It's... it's. I mean, but look, it's... There's a difference between sawdust and then dusty smell. Right? Like, I could identify sawdust aisle, and then if you put me in, like, a... Uh, a house that hasn't been lived in in like 30 years yeah yeah That's wait the so difference. then i think we need to uh, re-evaluate what the word dust means for the purposes of your review i thought it was a taste thing for texture it could be taste and smell are so connected the nose nose got it okay got it got it and so i would say yes it smells like home depot in yeah the, the i'm getting notes of the home depot uh uh, sawdust aisle or the sandpaper aisle um i get currants carrots and um what was my last one or you told me it was black cherries Pella meg i'm here i forgot it was early today so the wine smells like sandpaper <laughs> Specifically, um, the sandpaper aisle in Home Depot. I am reviewing. Okay, Chris, I'm going to go first, unless you want to go first. No, you can go first. And I'm going to do this. The, are you looking? No. Oh. So I'm reviewing it out of seven muskrats, and that's how much I gave it. Now, Chris, you can tell me. Don't look at I'm going to say a five again. I'm not mad at it. I mean, I... I feel like okay. you're you're gonna And now I'm going to reveal our answers. I'm on the left, Chris is on the right. I've given it a four out of seven. Chris gave it a five. I don't out of seven. think that it's bad. I mean I look Home Depot like is a fine place to go to and like I feel like we accomplish projects when we do go there, so maybe I'll build something after I drink this bottle. Yeah, a studio Carrots for are us. good for your eyes. A studio for us upstairs. Um, black cherry is correct. Ripe currant is correct. Spice, whatever that is, like general, like oregano from the mountains of Greece. That's such a weird one because that could be like Literally cinnamon. Anything. That could be like cumin. Yeah, it could be like uh, coriander or like pepper, garlic powder. You yeah, know, I mean, uh, spice. And then dark chocolate. That's the one that is the last one. Mm-hmm. So, do we need a musty scale too? That's an, the it, that's the old house smell. Yeah. See, yeah. Jody, that's the thing is, I say dusty, and Elias and I discussed this, but it's really I I would say musty is what I'm describing, and so yeah. I'm just maybe that's I've just the same scale then. I've just Jody. stuck with the word dusty because it makes me laugh, um, but it's really a musty smell or taste. Yeah. Uh, so Jody, I don't think we need a, a separate scale. Leanne said we never have any good wine in the airstream. It's pretty okay. Four out of seven for me is not my it's, favorite, but it's fine. It's I don't not, think you'll throw up. Yeah, from this one. knock on wood. Oh God. Um, and then Lana said, "Did you bring your sewing machine?" No, but I asked him the same question on the ride up today. I said, "Is your sewing machine packed in the back?" And he said, "Yep." And I nearly died. I need a joking. portable one. This Heidi one is massive. Says, "Did you guys save the lie from earlier on Muskrat Nation?" Yes. If you go to Muskrat Nation's profile and then click the IGTV thing, you'll see it there last. Wait, okay, Jody we were gonna, said it or Heidi said it. Heidi said it. We are moving away from wine o'clock. Uh, so let's go back to cameras only and Chris you do the music all right we are done with wine o'clock and I am happy to be drinking wine yeah I'm here for it we are cooking with gasoline on this stream now yeah we we're just going solid internet I, I am just so happy that we have solid internet yeah I mean it's so listen the last time that this stream happened the last two times that the stream happened, so this is really our third time technically streaming in the airstream, right? It is our the first time was third. A, yeah, the first time was a total dumpster fire where we had the bit rate super low and it was really spotty and disconnecting. Where we were broadcasting this from our iPhone's personal hotspot outside the airstream, 
the second time we did it, it was like the downpour where we got yeah where we got AT and T right um on installed in the airstream. We thought it was going to be better, but it was we still it was potato. Better. But also the rain probably impacted this yeah yeah the signal. Yeah. And now here we are on our third time, and third time is the charm. I think it's all working okay, minus. We're not going to talk about the audio issue in the, yeah. in the start. Oh, that God. didn't that didn't happen. Sue is messaging asking for how to the the code. Can you just do you have your phone on you? Can you just text her? Sorry to be doing this midstream, but I no, don't know no. why. What? Yeah, no, I I certainly can. But oh, okay. I don't know why it's it's not working? I don't know. Just just text her though, like just so that she knows what's going on. Um. Yeah, Bellameg, I'm so excited. Like, I'm thrilled that it looks that it looks good. And Ice Fireball 18, my I'm a teacher, and yesterday was my last day of school, and I also am absolutely just beat, like beat completely. So now I've gone down the wiki page spider rabbit hole. I'll never sleep again. Oh my god, Jody, what is the matter with you? One time when I was in Greece, um, I grew up in a poor section of Athens, like a really poverty stricken section of Athens. And then I would occasionally spend a lot of time with my grandparents up in the mountains of Greece. And um, while I was in the mountains of Greece, I'd imagine that it's probably 10% of what Australia is in terms of spiders, but it's like 200% more than what we're used to in America, and by we, I mean anyone who lives in America, of spiders. And so I would see some shit, like big time, and it just is horrifying. Um, one of the times, uh, there were two buildings next to each other, and one of the on the one side was where my grandparents lived, and then on the other side, it was the um, their like n uh, neighboring house that his brother used to live in, but then um, they ended up uh, he passed away or whatever, and there was no one living in that house. So between these two houses, there is, I would imagine there to be 20 feet of space between the two houses, okay? And square in the middle of that space. Now, 20 feet I'm imagining is like, you can imagine rather, is a lot. Like, it's a lot of space. And the one time my grandfather was like, wait, wait, don't go between the houses yet because I was going to pet the dog. And it turns out that a giant spider that I would say was in my mind like this big, like this was the spider. Listen, I've been to the... What, I mean, I, I've, I'm literally in the middle of a story. No, I know, but I just want to comment on one thing because I was listening as you were I'm telling me. I'm getting to the punchline, right? You literally... What's the punchline right now? Go ahead. I go, feel like it. that's... Uh, go. Go. <laughs> Jesus. And so this spider was in the center of the two houses floating in a web that connected from one house to the other. Can, do you, can you imagine what I'm saying to you? What I was, yeah, I can imagine because what I was going to say is in that village, I feel like that's, that's the size that spiders are born. <laughs> Like when so they that was come, a baby. when they come out of the mother, how, where did they out of the eggs? Like they come out of chicken eggs, and then they live their life. And when the mother gives birth to the eggs, she is laying chicken eggs, so she must be the size of a chicken. No, she, that's horrifying. I mean, that I mean, I can't. I'm just saying it's. I've seen the bugs there, and this it's is bad. Jody says that the Jody's horror story in short is a huge spider fell on my face as I walked into the gym at 4 a.m. one day. I've never run so fast before. Jody, this is why no one should exercise before like eight or nine o'clock. Oh, uh, that will never make sense to me. Why never, somebody ever. chooses to get up early to, to exercise? I literally hate it we tried once before chris yeah and it um, didn't work out. and i think it was some sort of milestone for the both of us and i think we were supporting each other for something and i remember it was like six o'clock in the morning us yeah. running and I, I was running you were biking and it was absolute misery it was 
only 30 minutes of my life, but it felt like it was... No, it's the, terrible. We're still in some timeline doing it. Is yeah, feel, ab- absolutely. You know? It's terrible. And it's so. like my body doesn't wake up like ready to do that. And even today when I did the, the um, workout at 10 o'clock, that was early to me. And I was like, still, my body was like, do, don't do this. You don't want to do this. And I'm like, no, I really have to. And I mean, I made it, but barely. Yeah. Well, listen, so we are... Um, coming off of the high that at least I feel from yesterday's uh, video of celebration for pride. And uh, I know we talked about it yesterday and we watched the video, but I just want to revisit this, the discussion about it because I just want to re revisit again. That's um, being redundant. How amazing this community is. Um, I'm, I've watched it a lot. I was uploading it this morning and just watching it again. And I'm so thankful to have found um, folks who are so like-minded, who are so open, who are so fun and, you know, awesome to basically just hang with. And it's just been a remarkable experience getting to know all of you. So I just want to thank you again, because I really feel connected with all of you. I think that um, if there was a different scenario in which we could all be together, I think we'd hang, you know, like total friends. So absolutely. Thank you. It's like uh, like we have a pretty small group of friends that we hang out with, like close friends that we regularly go out with. Yeah. And I feel like this gives us an option to connect with a bunch of people outside of that like smaller circle yeah but i feel that this is like a connection in the same way that we can just shoot the shit with them totally yeah which is what we would normally do in when hanging out with our friends who we hang out in exactly do you know that i saw a tweet yesterday uh or not yesterday i saw a tweet earlier this week and it was around the time that i started collecting video footage and putting together um the video uh, yesterday, Steve asked me how long it took me to put that video together, and I mentioned that it basically was the morning of yesterday. But the reality is the collection process was like a little bit longer than that. <clears throat> and so I've been it, it's been on my mind for many, many days. And someone tweeted, one of uh, our friends from Apple tweeted a retweet of someone asking, uh, you know, no one ever told you that growing up and like becoming an adult and whatever, 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 uh, makes it really difficult to find friends once, not friends, to find like other adult, uh, you know, like-minded people, which let's just use the word friends. Uh, basically they're saying that when you're young and you're going through all of the schooling, even if you go through your master's degree and all the way up to your doctorate, like all of those moments, you are around people you're surrounded by people you learn to identify with people and become friends with them or whatever but then at some point the your sort of access to new people is no longer what it used to be right and that's sort of just a common event that happens when you become an adult and so the question that this person was posing uh in a sort of satirical funny way was like uh can someone please tell me how an adult person makes new friends or something like that you know like where are you know the joke of like where do you just go to find new friends or whatever and in my mind the very first thing i thought of i was like go on twitch and find your people that's how i felt like immediately that's how i felt because i've i've been so amazed by the growth that we've had and the the success that we've had the the everything that we've been doing has reignited my sort of passion for any of this like anything that we're doing is all because of you so all of this to say thank you oh there is some stuff going on what's happening chris i don't know wait tell us what do you see pink ns just said there's a yellow truck that pulled up behind us so we are on a campground here by us where we're the last um space The last space of the, is it Kelly? I don't know. I mean, somebody's like getting KOA arrested. Um, we're on the last space that is a, a trailer, like a, an RV space. 
Um, and then it con- continues on to what are called the deluxe cabins. Oh, those are the deluxe cabins? Yeah. I mean, they're cute, but it's like, it's still, it's like, you know, it's, I would rather stay in a camper. I would rather stay in a tent, I think. Um, and so those are houses that... Like oh little wait cabins. i'm confused i thought the ones no these are better yeah i was gonna say these are like no no nice. these are like homes they they look like um so these are like i thought it was the ones from our first campground that we stayed no no staying those are the by. regular cabins yeah, those, yeah so this one is a deluxe cabin and they have like air conditioning and i think they have um like a kitchen and a bathroom and everything it's like a full cabin like a house and the we're staying at a koa which is campgrounds of america um and (laughs) their color is yellow and so now in front of our campground we've got the the golf cart that pulled up the koa golf cart oh snap it's a golf cart and the pickup truck the pickup truck which i have yet to see oh wait i'm seeing you chris look behind us they i've not seen a yellow they're searching for something oh like uh, is something like did someone not leave their camp their uh house no chris so where you're looking two people were looking at the wall and then diverted left like, like behind the house oh i'm gonna be watching like a hawk right now i'm living for this i i feel like i'm distracted and not <laughs> not paying attention to the <laughs> I am living. Wait, <laughs> it's Callie from the campground. I am. I'm just so glad dead. the air streamers are here. Please come outside and play <laughs> with me. <laughs> if you guys are new to the stream, Callie from the campground <laughs> is thank you, from, Adventures fanatic, for following. <laughs> is from a previous our second second stream. For no, our first, our, our first dream. Look, now they're on that side. Oh, this is a full investigation, folks. What is going on? I am just dumbfounded. Please don't get caught in the crossfire. Like, it is... I'm just so confused. Like, how do we pick these... Do we just... At the registration, is it like, <laughs> give us the most action filled camp spot um are we having an issue i i think no for what is it still going yeah it says ended jody says it ended i'm confused i don't think so is yours still going um leslie no, I think it's still good leslie said ignore us and go and find out what happened. Like, should I? I wish. I if wish we had I like had a mobile like a Bob Twitch situation. Barker, yeah, like a newscaster. <gasps> and you just went up to and them. And I went up to them and tell me what's going on for the. This is Chris Markson reporting live for from the air live, live for the airstreamers. This is so funny. Well, anyway, I'll keep a wat- I'll keep an eye out because it's like within my. I'm gonna get a neck ache from all yeah. this turning around. Whiplash. Um, like I don't want to miss something. We're waiting for deets. I will try to find out what I can and inform you all afterwards. Now, um, if you'd like to watch the video from yesterday, I did upload it to our Twitch uh, Airstreamers page. It is under the videos section, and it is uh, I think I named it celebrating uh, Pride celebration or community celebration or something. You'll see it. Uh, but so uh, you can revisit that video if you'd like to watch it. It's also on our YouTube channel, which um, I don't we don't really use too often, but I put it there just for a sort of posterity. Uh, it's called Airstreamers. So that's that. Um, people are crazy these days. Stay out of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I from within the comforts of, of this Airstream, Heidi, I will be a lion. I think the what- moment I open the door, <laughs> I become Eloise. OK, so there's that. So, like, I mean, the good thing is that the windows are tinted, so I don't think they can see in. Put on the local news. Maybe it's Freddy Krueger. Oh, my God. That is or really Jason. funny. Really, really, really funny. This is cracking me up, all of this. You're all just amazing. 
adventures fanatics of this channel showed up on my recommended list, so I decided to try it out. Oh, well, we adventure! Hope that you enjoy it. Yeah, welcome to the channel. We do all sorts of stupid stuff on this channel, but, um, but we have a great community here. Our typical flow for the channel is uh, mostly home-based, as in like from our living room, and we play games, talk, shoot the shit, drink, get drunk, do all sorts of crazy stuff. But right now, we are um, streaming from a campground, which is sort of like the antithesis of everything we want. Not the antithesis, the culmination of everything that we're we're doing so oh, oh Jody, thanks adventures thank fanatic you. and thank you jody and leah and leah is you here are on from where is she cabo on uh, and espanol hola <laughs> hola señorita hola, leah <laughs> oh my god leah is staying at this um all-inclusive resort which is really beautiful she sent us a video of her um of the room that she's staying in and it just looked fantastic. I hope you're having a wonderful time, Leah. We miss you, um, but we don't want to wish your vacation to end. So I hope it lasts a long time for you. Leah uh, FaceTimed me yesterday. Leanne, if you're if you're on, oh yeah, Leanne's right there. Leanne, um, after our crazy Peloton ride yesterday, where I nearly died, Leah immediately FaceTimes and is like, "Look, look, look at this room that we got," and I'm dripping. And wait, I wait, did answer, she FaceTime me? I don't know, Leah. Uh, maybe. Like, was it a group FaceTime? Because I feel like I Do you feel was, left out. No, because I saw come up. I saw something come up on my phone and d dismissed it. Because I was in oh the my middle God, of Leah, my workout. Leah, he dismissed you. How do you feel? But anyway, so she answers. and Or I answer, rather. And she is showing me... I, I mean, she's in the most beautiful, luxurious space that I've ever seen. It's huge. And they upgraded them for free. Oh, they're loading something into the <gasps> back of the pickup truck. Is it truck. a body? Did you see a body? No, Where is no the body? <laughs> <laughs> Akira from Drag Race. So, uh, Elias is now my fave. I quit Team Doctors. Yes, Leah, thank you. Me, what? you, and Sue. Excuse me, Leah. Uh, so, anyway, we uh, she showed it to us. I'm super jealous. Uh, and yet, here we are in Airstream in our little one person Airstream, and I'm obsessed. One person? Where are you sleeping? Uh, one, in the bed? one bedroom. You're like going to sleep in the, in the car then. So. Yeah, uh, I could not sweating Elias after that ride. Yeah, Leanne. Oh, I didn't tell you about this yesterday, the ride with Leanne. So, well, she texted me. She said that it was your like 250th. Yeah, it was my 250th ride. It was the uh, another milestone. I think my 1,000 minutes 1, or whatever. 1,000 minutes, yeah. But th listen to what happened. You know how we get frustrated uh, and we both have said we need to get better at like when things don't work out the way we want them to, like take a breath, it's yeah, fine. Uh -huh. This was not in motion yesterday because I was on the bike ride and I- Bye Leah, have fun. Bye Leah. Say hi to Sarah from ya. us. <laughs> Jody said, thank you. Uh, <laughs> love you, Leah. And I didn't put the, the, the heart rate Great thing, monitor. right? Uh -huh. So I was using my Apple Watch and it wasn't connecting. Oh, they're leaving. And every- moment that I was that I thought it was connecting it like wasn't and then the worst you know the strive score thing yeah. like I really wanted to do well in that uh -huh. and so for a solid five to seven minutes or so excuse me thanks, oh, Kathy. thanks Kathy for a solid five to seven minutes oh there what is in the back there oh what is that it's like a lot of trash like did they that is so weird did someone trash the place I feel like it's like a lot of, I don't know. It's weird. We should go like for a walk yeah, afterwards. Just inspect. Yeah. Um, so anyway, thank you. Oh, thanks, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn I mean, Jenner for following us. Is I this mean, the Caitlyn Jenner? Caitlyn Jenner is that would on. be pretty wild if Caitlyn Jenner is following us. So yesterday, Chris, five to seven minutes of time wasted. Do you understand what I'm saying? Out of a 30 minute ride, how it's frustrating, the worst, right? Yeah. So then I, I mean, I shut down then. It, totally. You know me because the moment that I'm like in a run or anything and there is like a feather drops on the ground, yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah. This morning, folks. Thanks, Mozzie. Oh, thanks, Mozzie. This morning when Chris was running on the treadmill, I left or I, I went into the room and asked him if he fed the cats. 
And I'm like, Chris, did you feed the cats? He's not paying attention. I'm like, Chris, did you feed the cats? He whips his head around. What? I'm like, did you feed the cats? No. And I'm like, okay, uh, no, relax. Like, let me just chill out. From my perspective, I was doing, Talkies. I was like 5% incline at 9.0, nine miles an hour during that time. Okay. And I Sounds just like a personal hear, problem. <laughs> I just hear Elias yelling something from behind me. And I'm a jumpy person, I feel. Like, then it scared me. And I was like, who is this person behind me? And it's you, of course, even though it's a one person house. Oh. And I Got turn it. around and he's asking, what? Oh my god, we're on a hype train. This can't. The rule, folks, for anyone who's joining us, if we reach level four hype train, oh. we end up taking a shot. Thank you, Leslie. <sighs> but I'm excited, but like. And wait, Leslie subscribed, and Jody gifted another one to Adventure and Adventurist Fantastic. <laughs> okay, tell your story. No, that was the story. You oh. were, I was pissed. Okay, so you interrupted my story to tell me that you were pissed at me. Yeah. So uh -huh. then my final part of the story is that at this point now, after my, my 10 minutes of, you know, I'm not doing anything and I'm really upset, I'm, I had a bunch of people who were taking this class at the same time, like who I follow. Mm hmm. And I was all the way at the bottom with very little room to possibly get anywhere. In Why, because of the heart rate monitor? Or? No, because I wasn't doing the job. Like, I was so focused on the oh, yeah, settings yeah. that I, w I was just yeah. normal pedaling. Yeah, yeah. And so then I get into the groove. The ride was super fun. It was Cody's pride ride. And I really started doing well and moving along. And near the end, I normally don't look at the leaderboard too often, but near the end, I happened to notice that I was like 10 points away from Leanne. And now I'm like, I need to beat Leanne. I'm going to beat Leanne. And Leanne, I really need to tell you the motivation that I felt from that moment. Leanne because, holds her own. Oh my God, amazing. Yeah, Leanne is good. Leanne, phenomenal. And then knowing that I was close to you just gave me this drive that I needed to do more. And I just cranked up the, the resistance and I'm just going like the little engine that could. And I kept going through to the end and I, I beat Leanne by three points, I think. And I was that jerk who came in all the way like at the very end. What a douche. Total. And then I ended up uh, like falling to the ground. That Not like I'm being <laughs> dramatic, but you know. Leanne, you killed him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, god. oh my Wait, god. What is here? going on? We're here. Bella, thank you for the cheers. <sighs> Deb. Um Hi Imposter Steve. Oh my god, it's moving. I hate this. Um who else? Oh my god, Christyish. Ralphia, thank you so much. And Cotton Candy extended their subscription. Ralphia gifted five subs out. Charlie Boy Christyish. Oh my God, folks! You oh are my God! Thank you guys for phenomenal. supporting us, Alana. This Ralcia, is what I was saying. That this is this community cotton candy is just incredible, and you're all laws. wonderful people. And I just hope you know the 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 desire and drive that you give us to do this and be creative and do more and keep going is all because of you. Yeah, folks. I mean, we had you like know. well, we had like uh, so. I feel like we've kind of gotten into our groove of like setup and everything. Yeah. And now we've kind of gotten into our groove of, for the most part, we're not ignoring the audio issues. Oh, yeah. This. I mean, what audio issues? I don't know. What you're no audio about. issues. Yeah. Everything was perfect. And thanks, Kathy. We have our little Airstreamers tote for when we go camping that we put in the in the car. And it's like this has really carved out a little part of our lives that yeah. is something special that we enjoy doing it's like more than a hobby at this point it's just kind of like a cool hangout with friends no i mean this is something i need like weekly it's like yeah it's I like a social yeah. thing that we look forward to totally like i thrive in that setting so and we're thank literally you all so much. i mean we're on the hype train now and we have to do a shot and so how do we do this? Um, I don't know. We I don't think. have any shot glasses in here. Um, Should I add that to the book? Like yeah. to bring shot glasses into the Airstream? 
Well, we'll get plastic shot glasses. Yeah, yeah, but we don't have, right? No, like, we don't okay, have. Okay, so I need to add that to the book. But you guys have delivered. If, and you so are, if you are new to our channel, the book is this sacred text that I'm writing in right now in which we end up having everything we need sorted out. So anything we need to do, we put it in the book and it becomes official. Yeah. So this I is... Just, Shot glasses for Airstream. I just want to thank um, the people who are supporting us. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anyone. Ralphia, again, thank you for all the cheers. When was... Um, oh, Jen, that's so sweet. When was... Deb, again, thank you for the cheers. Uh, Kathy, thank you. And um, Kathy, again, thank you guys again. So much like so much so love much, so you much guys love. support us and you know make this stuff happen um rousey again thank you you're I'm all too just shy for you amazing amazing folks let me and go grab some sure. kind of shot yeah, yeah. something um what i was gonna say is uh um oh the the next big milestone that we have as uh, a twitch channel is to reach the uh the level called partner like a Twitch partner, which at this point, what is most important, uh, yeah, that's fine, Chris, just like a, you know, pour for like a second. Uh, a Twitch partner is the highest level of a Twitch account you can be, and the last big point of it is to have an average, oh my God, Chris, that's a lot. You, That's yours, that's not mine. No, no, no. Elias, we have to celebrate. Uh, 75 viewers, uh, on average for a little bit of time. So like, we're so close to that. And I feel like we're just so excited to potentially get there one day because uh, lots of things happen. It's emotes explosion. We can do all sorts of things with emotes and more. So Airstreamers t-shirts are well within our ability and well within something we've thought about. Uh, there's a lot that we want to do. So... <laughs> All of this is because of you folks. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Here is our shot. I feel like this is a lot. This yes, is a lot. Yeah, we did Wait. do it, and thank you can so I just, much. Like, can you direct me and show me um, how? I'm going to show it because this is this is a big shot. But I feel like it's. Warranted. Oh yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, just go close to the camera, and I'll I'll guide you. So uh, just hold it still move it up a little up like up yeah there that is the shot that we're about to take yeah leah someone said shots bottoms up oh, <laughs> i want to do this wait i saw a bunch of cheers come in did you thank people because they are literally supporting us our friends are here supporting us ralcia again deb charlie boying this is like two shots i'm not a fan too Bella, shy for you. excuse me, that's nothing. <laughs> Did I miss anyone? I just want to make sure that we're thanking people because cotton honestly, candy. cotton candy, thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Leah said power bottoms up. There we go. Let's do it. Okay, cheers. Cheers. To airstreamers. To airstreamers. In, a, in an airstream. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I'm salivating. <laughs> that was Chris, a lot. That was two full shots. That was a double. That was a double, folks. Oh, my God. Wait, you didn't finish yours, Elias. Okay, well, I'll finish yours. Excuse me. <laughs> Not a fan at all. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> and he holds the coal. Whoa. Oh, I'm like literally sweating. Thanks, Sophia was here. Um, yeah, this is a little bit of a Target special. I've got uh, some Pride stuff going on with it. I've got some Pride stuff here. I think this actually says Proud. Um, I've got my rainbow strap. I've got this rainbow. I've got this rainbow. I am rainbowed the the f, f out up. yeah done or uh i what's the the phrase in rupaul's drag race where it's uh is sarah is gilbert sarah 
Sarah said, I see your double and I raise you a triple. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Uh, absolutely not. Not right now, at least. Oh, my God. We still have the wine to finish. And um, we actually, so we paid for two nights here, Friday, Saturday. And we did that because. Mozzie, I'm writing him the book. We want to come here like early in the day, but we don't want to like do an overnight because then the cats and everything. Um so what we did tomorrow is we extended our stay. So we actually have a late checkout tomorrow <laughs> at five o'clock so we can sleep in tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Oh my God. Uh, cotton candy redeemed. Get a muskrat. We need to remember to turn those off when we come to <laughs> camping. We do not have uh, a muskrat no muskrats available, right but listen, well, what we can get is this cheese Louise patch that we're giving away tonight. Yeah. We don't have an up close camera to show you yet, but we will um, in a bit. The fa the drive to our house is only about an hour, depending. It's like an on, hour fifteen. Yeah, but it's um, like a good drive. Actually, I mean, we were talking about this. It goes pretty quickly. When twelve o'clock, uh, doggies is normal checkout. Yeah, twelve o'clock. Uh, Mozzie saying that if we have oranges, it would be a lot smoother for me. So, and then also, Imposter Steve, there was a joke <clears throat> that I wanted to talk about, which was uh, that I'm doing my best impression of anderson cooper taking the shot do you remember that on new year's eve i think i do remember so that. funny so oh, so, he's so, so funny. sexy yeah I, I think so too big time um i always thought he was sexy where did he get that white hair from because i feel like genes, when we like were his dna decided that yeah i know but um what i'm saying is like i feel like he's always had that and he hasn't aged at all i remember watching cnn like as a teenager oh, and thinking how get a muskrat oh there you go here's our muskrat little bernie little plastic bernie i i always found uh Anderson i thought he was sexy, sexy and he's still sexy um so oh colin farrell who i always thought was sexy he was one of like my top five uh you know like hall, Wait, hall colin, pass colin farrell mm -hmm. i don't think i know who he is you know, unfortunately, and I don't want to bring this up, but he is in the Harry Potter movies, the new ones, the uh, Fantastic Beasts. He's the like, oh, the he's villain. the villain, like the older one who like yeah. in the first one, like likes the younger one. It's just so weird. I hate it. I just Harry Potter's dead to me because of I hope that this doesn't turn off anyone. But J.K. Rowling's transphobia is not a place for me or Airstreamers or us. Um, and so that's why I don't like talking about it. But with that said, <laughs> adventurous, fantastic. Had, is that a, a beer keg? That's I dripping? don't know what that but is. That's hysterical. Uh, no, uh, Leslie, we don't have a top five freebies like now or like. Really oh, my actively. God. Leah, I was thinking, well, Leah and I have just some kind of mind meld. I was thinking Will Farrell, and I had so much like. When no, you said earlier, yeah, when you said earlier that you were homophobic oh accidentally, God, I can't. I was thinking this is the full realization of it that you find Will Farrell attractive, but it's not. It's no. What Colin? Colin? Co Colin? Colin Farrell? Uh, Adventures Fantastic said it's a Harley Quinn gadget. Oh, got it. Harley Quinn's from uh, Suicide Squad. So, anyway. Colin Farrell, he was in my fictitious minds, like top five, as in, I think it was that one friends episode where, where they gave each other like the hall pass or whatever the word is, where it's like, if you ever, ever, ever have an opportunity to have sex with this person in a monogamous relationship, you're given like free reign to do so from the partner. Right. So in my mind, this was before I was even dating Chris, I had this idea of Colin Farrell <clears throat> Uh, as he was on it, Hugh Jackman, but I guess I'm not going to spoil the rest of it because I'm, I just, maybe that could be like a podcast episode to talk about. But then, uh, at my high school's graduation, um, the other night, the photographer, I swear to you, I thought was Colin Farrell and I nearly like seized. Did I you didn't sleep know. with him? No, I didn't <laughs> sleep with him. Yes. 
I went to graduation on the football field of the high school and I slept with him in front of 700 folks, you know? Oh, so, thanks, oh, thanks Candy. Candy. So all I'm trying to say, I don't even know where I got to this point, but I nearly thought for real that I, that Colin Farrell was at our graduation for, for high school. So I don't know where that's going, but... You know, I think my adventure is fantastic, wait. fanatic. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, I think my wait. Can we talk about hall passes or no? Yeah, but like, don't reveal all because I want to do a podcast episode. I think about it. That's like a good one. Yeah, I won't talk about it. It's fine. We'll we'll. No, I mean, if you want to share, I share two of mine. So share two of yours. Um. Well, I know one of them. I think. Yeah, I think one of mine would be... Wait, don't say it yet. I'm going to just type it, and yeah. then I'm going to... Like, I'm not going to hit enter. I'm going to type it, and then you can see. I don't know see. if I'm saying it right, though. That so confer- don't... That confirms my suspicion. Don't at me if I'm saying it wrong. I think it's Ryan Felipe. Yeah, look. That's what I have right here. Is no. it Philippi or what? Ryan Felipe? Do you see on my iPad? I did it. I know it. I can't see on your iPad, but I trust you. Oh, my God. He's so sexy. You know? So I know what I'm doing. I know my husband. Can I, I give the second wants. one? Yeah, if you want. I think Mark Wahlberg. For sure. I mean, oh my God. I. Oh God. When we were younger, those uh, underwear ads were almost like a necessary part of my upbringing. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, yeah. Cheyenne Jackson, I think, is who you mean, Leanne, and he's also very, very sexy. Sorry about my mic. I'm trying to just fix it. Yeah, you're like me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leah said, I need to share my first three childhood crushes, Alf, Hulk Hogan, and Pee Wee Herman. That is quite a lot, Leah. And (laughs) I will say to you, though, I don't think you know this about me, Chris. I'm going to tell you something that you're probably going to, like, start drawing up divorce papers over. Listen, this is a one-person airstream, so don't push me. I'm going to push you. For the purpose (laughs) of the stream. I think when i was younger i also had a crush on hulk hogan i i always thought that it was hulk hogan that's what i said wait wait what it or you literally just said his name wait what did i i thought it was something weird like hulk colgan or something i thought it was something weird as a kid i had no idea what i was okay even saying. so i thought that he was going to start divorcing me but he's not even aware that no, i just fine. said i mean he walks around in his underwear so it's like that's that's fine oh, okay so you you sort of like get it but like if i were to say i mean in the spirit of, <laughs> <laughs> of yeah openness, anyone can clip any part of this by the way if i were to reveal something on the stream that like could i potentially have a female on my list would that also be a thing as a hall pass you're saying that yeah you're asking me yeah who you want to add jess sims i think jess sims is so attractive i yeah, love and her. you're allowed to think that. but i don't want to sexualize her like- i don't want to sexualize her because i think she's just a fantastic trainer but i think she's so attractive and i love her so much then that is someone you find attractive i think that it's a biological thing but like i don't you're wanna, allowed to feel that way yeah but I also i don't want to like be that weird creepy like fan who's like totally oh my god but so i i feel bad saying that at the same time but i still think she's super attractive and like you do you jess you are an inspiration and a fantastic person. This is really funny. Sia's daughter said, I'm going to throw away back Speed Racer, Donny Osmond, and Tom Petty. And then Doggy said, my crushes were Mikhail Baryshnikov, Sting, and Pierce Brosnan. Ooh, Pierce Brosnan. Wait, what is Mikhail Baryshnikov? Baryshnikov. He was a someone. I don't know. But is I he know like a name. pianist? Chris is a sadist. He likes women who beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, Brad Pitt is like... To me, I'm for Brad Pitt, always have been, but I don't want to be too controversial here, but he is very obviously the one that would, that most people would pick. And so therefore I don't know that I would go for him over others. Like if he was in the lineup and he was like the best of the lineup, sure. 
I mean, I can't believe this is where our conversation has devolved to. Tonight. I mean, it's the shots. It's that two was a shots. Double. Three shots. That was a lar- well. We got to level five, so we had to do a double. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. And Leah so. loves the loves pianist. <laughs> I'm oddly attracted to Michael Stipe, uh, but Ethan Hawke. Ooh, Ethan Hawke. He's another one, too. Brad Pitt equals basic to Oh, life. my God. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, Jody. That is a good one. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, my God. He's so sexy. Leah, JTT as the voice of Simba. Le- Leah. These are word things you are not allowed to say on the stream at this time. No, he Jonathan was, Taylor Thomas. I know. As the voice of Simba, he was like a 15-year-old. Oh, yeah. But I think we were 15 or so at that time. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I also thought Aladdin was really sexy. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree. It's like... Both Aladdin and the voice of Aladdin. He knew he was sexy, though. Aladdin knew he was sexy. Aladdin was walking around in a literal vest with no shirt on. Yeah, but I think that it's because he, like, his... No, he could have scrapped up some fabric somewhere and sewn it together. He knew he was sexy. You think he was a seamster? I I mean, or he could have stole. He stole bread. To give to children in need. That's fine. But I'm saying there were all sorts. There, They were selling Tupperware at some of these stations. He could have stolen a shirt and worn a shirt if he wanted to. But he knew he had a good body. And he was like, all right, well, fine. I'll just, you know, I'll throw something on. I used to identify as Aladdin. I grew up in poverty. We had very little. Um, I think that he looked like me. Not, and I'm gonna pause. I don't think like I look like Aladdin, like with his six pack and abs and stuff. All I'm saying is that the dark features, like I think we both resembled mm-hmm. each other. Yeah. And so I identified with him because I thought I was kind. Still am. So like in the event that I'm questionable, sometimes. In the event that I need to give my bread away to, like, starving children, I probably would. Well, what kind of bread is it? Let's just... If it's rye bread, it's dead to me. <laughs> I Gone. love rye bread. No, it's so good. It's to, anyone can take it. Are you serious? I'll starve and die. Oh, no. Um, it's so good. If it's, so like, good. white bread, it's mine, and you'll, ha- and you'll have like to brioche? armor sleep. Um, I want it. So like, like, let them eat cake. Like, don't let them eat Cake. Like the isn't it the whole thing and <laughs> I I don't know how we got here on bread and it, this is ridiculous but one of the things I wanted to talk about was the desserts that you decided because I gave a shopping list to Elias. Wait, Bella is saying rye bread going on the list in all caps. Yes, Bella, but Bella made a mistake and said rue bread going on the list. <laughs> rue bread, Bella would not go on the list. I Ooh, counter Reeves. Okay, we have a lot to talk about. Go ahead. Wait, so I wanted to at some point come to desserts because you really delivered in the dessert category for this trip. Yeah. I asked you, I, I gave a shopping list to Elias because I was working. He got out a half day because it was his last day at school. And I said, Yeah, can you- I, no, no. I said to Chris, I'm like, can you just put together a list? I'll go to ShopRite or wherever, food, food, uh, fresh grocer or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah. I'll go there and get whatever we need because I have a half day. And so I was editing the video so from yesterday. So I just felt like I needed to focus in on that and not divert my energy. So Chris, can you do this? He builds this list, shares it with me on notes. And the only thing for like dessert, it says snacks, colon, cookies, question mark. That's it. And I'm like walking around. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like excuse me just cookies for this trip so what did i buy i looked in the refrigerator because i was kind of like every time i've got my checklist of things that i do when we're packing up the airstream of like making sure the refrigerator doesn't bounce around too much the stuff in there so i kind of position it so it's like a little bit condensed so even if the the trailer shuffles a little bit while we're riding yeah it won't like break eggs or anything and so I see in they the won't refrigerator break the nice eggs. The nice eggs. Yeah. I see in the refrigerator that there is um, in the freezer. There's ice cream san- sandwiches. Giant double stuffed double ice cream stuffed sandwiches. Ice cream yeah. Sandwiches. Um, there are uh, is rainbow cake. We need to show that. <clears throat> rainbow, when you're done, yeah, you're gonna rainbow take it out like and show seven it. layer cake. Yeah. Uh huh. Then, we have to celebrate. Then, we're I, gay. We're then gay I, AF. I look in the p- 
pantry section thing and there is there are cookies in there and what's holding the cookies up are crispy cream donuts did i deliver you, did i do the thing you delivered a thousand percent and what i wanted to say is the fact that you got rainbow cake on this holy day i know pride, i know that i was wanted to bring it around to the fact that we were could talk about bread in some scenario which we ultimately got to randomly through aladdin yeah and i wanted to bring up the marie antoinette saying of let them eat cake where they throw the scraps of the brioche out to the the subjects and like they want they want their brioche let them have it and here we are i mean we what more perfect stream is there on twitch right now none all of the folks who are not watching the stream at the moment they are missing out on the most high level content available to them (laughs) or we've had like two and three shots and we're gonna look at this back and we're gonna be like what a dumpster fire (laughs) i mean (laughs) yes speaking of i'd like a little bit more wine and then afterwards i'd like for you to get the um oh my god we're like an hour and 20 minutes in yeah i'd like for you to get the rainbow slices to show our uh wonderful friends online what they look like oh Um, doggy's talking about um uh, rye bread. I am a total fan. I love it to death. It's so good. Rye bread with egg salad and a slice of like cheese on it is delicious. It's just so so good. Dead to me. D T M. I, I, I want to say rye bread is almost better than white bread. I would. The only time be that careful I would have, with your language because you may enter that list. The only time that I would say that rye bread is not better than white white bread is for like a peanut butter sandwich like peanut butter should be on white bread peanut butter on rye bread no that's like a weird literally yeah the most disgusting thing i've ever yeah no that doesn't work okay can you please get my get the rainbow slices because i'm like locked in here like where i'm at rye is yucky yes and someone earlier wait why does everyone like like hate on rye bread Someone earlier said something really, really funny. They said rye bread is the new peas, which is the new double space or one space, which is amazing, which makes me want to create a poll. So I'm going to create a poll right now and we're going to all vote on. Do you like rye bread? Yeah, just I want to show them, but don't show them yet. Wait one second. I'm going to make a new poll, folks. It's going to be, do you like rye bread? Yes or no? Or how should I word it? Is rye bread good you're leading with the question yeah so, so say like do you prefer or um what are your thoughts on rye bread good or bad okay what are whoops what are your thoughts on rye bread good bad okay so we're gonna do a poll for five minutes, uh, three minutes, sorry. Vote, vote, vote. Can I show the cake? Yes. Now Chris is going to show you this uh, this cake. Look at this cake. How cool. Just keep it right there. Look at this cake. I got two slices of it. Celebrating pride. I'm here for it. Oh, my God. Do not look at the no i mean it's seven cakes in one are you kidding? wait can i take a look now i need to see are you kidding? chris now i need to see just let me see this is one slice it's got one two three four five layers of rainbow filling and then a layer of ice uh icing what <laughs> How is that a thing? That is literally... Is that the whole cake? No, that's one... It says one slice. Stop it right now. One of these slices, look how thin this is, is a thousand calories. Stop it. This is literally my workout from today. Nutrition facts. One... Serving size one. I do not 
per no. slice. Nine hundred. No, I bought two slices. Nine hundred and twenty calories. I don't care. I'm doing it. I did a workout 2, today. Two thousand calories for those two slices. None of that I'm makes sense just, to me, Chris. No, that's how is that? It's just cake. Look, don't let them eat cake. I am blown away. Doggy said Eliza's going to go for another run. Sorry, also I'm I'm showing some like leg here. This is. Do you see it? Oh, Chris just sneezed. Bless you. Yeah, like a little bit of a. Uh, yeah, Sophia was here, so uh, the whole of that cake would have twelve thousand calories. I'm here for it. Oh, bless you again. <laughs> Sophia was here, said nice legs. Um, so Christopher, I think what we need to do is this: we need to um, do the giveaway. Well, announce the giveaway, do the giveaway, go to Can Chris Get It, finish oh, up. I'm like <clears throat> sneezing. And then end this wonderful stream because I'm hungry. Mama needs her we medicine. Need to, yeah, we need to bake the the. <gasps> oh the my fries. God, we need to bake the fries. It's going to take forever. And then we need to eat cake. Let yeah. them eat cake. Okay. So we're going to do that. Yes, Doggy7. We literally said that earlier today. Between us, we said, we are on a Pride weekend getaway. Calories do not count. <laughs> I'm allergic to calories, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I agree, Leslie. There's no way that one of those is 1,000 calories. I do not believe that. That can't... It's... What does that mean? Then just... 920? Let's solve poverty by just giving that cake out to everyone. I just... I'm so confused because I feel like a cheesecake is like heavy and rich. This is literally just a seven layer cake. And when you really think about what a seven layer cake is, it's like a lot of layers of small cake. Yeah. Alan is saying pa panic is setting in. It's totally we're like sitting here like, OK, everybody watching convince us that it's not a thousand calories. <laughs> OK, we have some results. You, the poll has ended. What are your thoughts on rye bread? 62% of you said it's good yeah. and 38% said it's bad. So listen, folks, I think that a Venn diagram of the people who think it's bad and me would be the same circle. So we are friends, the good people dead to me. So I need to come up with a patch about how rye bread is good or bad. You need to deliver on equality, Chris. Like, you said peas just don't as a patch. Mm -hmm. I love peas. Where's my patch for peas? No, I like peas. Give peas a chance. I think <laughs> that is a good one. You know? I, yeah. Good job, Elias. Or rye bread. Like rye. Why are you so mad? That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, uh, listen. I can't give. I can't give. I oh can't give my, oh my all my secrets oh my out right now on this stream. Listen, rewind. Do we have a... Cotton candy, just so you know, the, the whole peas discussion led into, like, turmoil because the folks who were against peas were against peas at, like, a molecular level. Like, they were ready to just take up the pitchforks and the torches and the whatever to fight against the pea folks. So... <laughs> Troll butt juice patch. Jody, I have thoughts. I'm not Wait, gonna... wait, wait. Who said I didn't watch Sex in the City? Uh, doggies... You need to... I'm reclaiming my time here. You said, Elias, you did not watch Sex and the City. You are dead to us. I not only have watched Sex and the City, I have watched every single episode. I owned every single box set. And I had a uh, Sex and the City finale party. So excuse me. I think you mean Chris. I have not. I don't even know. What is it? Sex and the City? Oh, my God, Chris. Are you for real? I'm, Are you for real? I mean, I'm still working on it. Is it thoughts on radishes? Like them? They are. They are on my. Uh, you're allowed to exist list. Yeah, that's a good. Good question. I feel they're a little dusty, though. <laughs> I could see that. Right. Yes, Chris needs to watch Sex and the City. Even though by this point it's a little bit like some episodes are a bit little cringe, but yeah, are they cringe? Redeemed Ken Chris got at Sex in the City. That's a good one. Can you do that? Who are the four women in Sex in the City? Let's see if uh, you can fulfill Ralph Ralphia's Samantha. Okay. Um, Wait, Samantha is right. 
then there's like the Allie McBeal one. Right? She was out in Allie McBeal. The main one? No, the redhead one was in Allie McBeal. Was not. But she's like sister What's her name? with Allie McBeal. No. No, I don't know. Okay, move on. Amanda? No, but like kind of rhymes with that. Shamanda. Who, do you remember in Resident Evil 8 that I just played the main woman villain that I said? Um, yeah, uh, it's like, um... Uh, <laughs> Did you just say Shramanda? Yeah. No, it's not it's, that. It's, uh, I... The mother, main... it's mother blank. Mother, m- um, like, uh, Beretta or something? It's a name you'd know. Mother, m- Miranda. Miranda. Okay. Okay. And one more. Um. Oh, there's only three. I thought there no, were no. Four. I thought I'm. I'm assuming you know who Sarah Jessica Parker's character is. No. Oh God. Okay. I thought it was Sarah Jessica Parker. Like no, she played herself. No. No. Susan. No. Um. The woman. Uh. The Stephen King movie where the girl gets her period. It. What? It. Can I finish? The girl gets her period. They make Carrie. Of, yes. Carrie. Fisher. No. Okay, fine. Carrie's fine. It's Carrie Bradshaw. Okay. And then. Um, I don't even have a visual of this person. Oh, this is the one who. Th- look, this is. This is who this is. I who is know. It? Tell me. There's um, like Liv Tyler. And then her, Liv Tyler is also played by. Um. What's her name? Uh, Anne Folks, Hathaway. Are you hearing this? Liv Tyler, Anne Hathaway, played by the same person. And then the like secondary stand-in for when they're sick is this other person. <gasps> I have no idea who it is. Folks, there is an update to this controversy. Chris is saying that she- Anne Hathaway and Liv Tyler are not just one person. There's a third person involved. Yeah, it's and that like person the, is this character from Sex and the City. Chris is saying that this character. Trifecta. This is the whole like the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. This is the same. Oh, thing. I'm dead. I'm dead at this. This is like too much to handle. <laughs> Are you for real? I do swear. you not know her name? I don't know her name, but I'm telling you, I I now that you're talking about it, I see her in my mind's eye, and she is. It's literally like. If there's a hierarchy of like, you know, father or son in Catholicism, it's like yeah. father, son. And then you're like, oh, yeah. And the Holy Spirit's fine. Got it. It's like, okay, father, son is like Liv Tyler and Anne Hathaway. And then the and Holy then this Spirit person, is this ghostly person. You don't who, know. Like, there's multiple in. names in my mind. Like Karen. Her real name starts with that set first sound. Cthulhu? Who is our nun friend? Which I have talked about. Uh, Kristen. Kristen, and then my band director from hot college. His last name. Uh, Craig? Last name. Dr. Joel Craig. Doc. Um, Stevens. What about Sedanio? Who's that? David. Davidson. Dave Davison. This. Okay, Davis. you said it. So put it together. Um Non friend? Kristen. Last name of my college director. Davidson. Davison. Davison. <laughs> Did you just Colonel Panic? Listen, I Davis. Th- Kristen Davis. Oh, Kristen Davis, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh my sure, god! Sure, got Jeez. it. And How her much character did you name pour? double, her, triple, her quadruple. Character name is Charlotte. Yeah, I never would have gotten that. Okay, and then Carrie Bradshaw is Sarah Jessica SJP, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, got it. So, folks, there is a story we're not going to share tonight, but we've talked about this many times, and and I feel like. Um, Dr. Joel Craig Doc. <laughs> uh, I feel like at some point we do need to deliver on the story, but we do have two friends who are, um, yeah, Cynthia Nixon is Miranda. Yeah, listen, I had three shots. You didn't finish yours, so I rounded up. We have two friends 
used to be close friends who are now nuns. I've mentioned this before. We've talked about this before. I feel like it's weird if we talked about it, but at the same time, I'm feeling like we should at some point just to give maybe not even an opinion based version of it, but like just the factual, like what went down version of it. Wait, Sarah work. Jessica Parker ran for the mayor of New York. I didn't know that this this past election right now. Stop it. Um, how pissed is Sarah going to be when I cannot be ready for dinner because uh, this is killing me, LMAO. Oh, my God. That is amazing, Leah. Oh my Spoiler God. alert, <laughs> I'm one of the nuns. Spoiler <laughs> alert, folks. Leah is not one of the nuns and will, in my mind, Leah, if you ever decide that that's where the path you're going on, oh, they I will do everything in my power to stop that from happening. They would have. Listen, I, I have... There's like all of the concerns that I have, all the anxiety. Oh, of Cynthia things. Nixon man for, ran for mayor. Yes, that I do know. I didn't know uh, that Sarah did. Sarah all, Jessica Parker. All of the things that I stress about, like whether or not I should have, as a good gay, watched Sex in the City. Mm -hmm. Like all of these things are listed. Literally at the bottom of the list is Leah joining the nunnery. A hundred million. <laughs> There's no chance in hell. So at some point, I think that we will share that story with you. My concern isn't so much that like, I mean, look, me and Chris are not religious folks, but, and so there is not a concern for that. It's that I kind of weirdly feel a little bit bad talking about them. Because I think that this is just a very, there, it's like darkness to me. Like, I know that when you think about nuns and stuff, it's yeah, like a positive it's, thing. No. It's, but it's, uh, it's darkness like it's, for me. I feel like it's like almost, I, again, I don't want to talk about it, but I feel like it's almost talking about the death of a friend. Literally, yeah. Thank you, uh, Aww, Ralphia. Thanks, Ralphia. You're amazing. Yeah. But yeah, I do feel like it's the death of a friend or friends in this case, because there were two of them. They were twins. We're going to uh, at some point, we'll make a thing about it. We'll talk about it on. on the yeah, screen, because but. I mean, honestly, we were close to them and then they kind of went away. Yeah, I mean, and, and just a little taste, a little taste. Thanks, Cotton Candy. Uh, a little taste of what the story involves is that me and Chris are not allowed to see them because we are men. And we may entice them sexually in, you know, doing us, whatever, which means that they would leave the nunnery. So we are not allowed to see them. So that's just a little, I mean, a little taste of what you get. A taste, but let's be honest, it's not going to happen. Let's be honest. I mean, of course, that's what they think. Look e at us. Even if... Even I'm just if kidding. That was a literal <laughs> joke. I'm like, not that confident even if god commanded us god holy spirit the thing other the other thing zero percent it's not gonna happen negative percent it's just not and gonna happen. certainly not gonna happen through a letter in the mail yeah no so anyway um leah said i'm sexually enticed in the grocery store yeah alana it's a thing i mean like i said we've never talked about it because i feel a little bit strange talking about it but it's a lot like there's a lot to the story maybe one day one day we'll unpack that um but i just feel like i don't know wait a little so weird patsy is talking about her grandma getting her nun or her finger broken by a nun probably like smacking the because they were left fingers by the ru ruler my i Leanne, that's i so don't know funny. if i've talked about this on the stream but this is my go-to story so i went to catholic school for like my earlier childhood mm -hmm. which was like a nightmare that was not really a great you thing. didn't love it i hated it the fact that i had to wear the uniform i like was i felt like it was so much it was like the summertime and i'm wearing trousers <laughs> And a button down and a tie and a vest. Who says trousers? That's what they were called. <laughs> and so Thanks, it was candy. It was not a fun time with the school emblem and everything. No, Yeah, not, a ruler. Literally not a good time. My second, and I think I've said this on the stream, but it. it the Spanish teacher? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, that go was ahead. in middle go school. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My second grade teacher 
that gave me stomach aches every time I went in. And not good stomach aches, like I had a good night the night before. What do you mean a before. good stomach ache? Who I mean, like, a, a stomach ache ever? You're, oh, yes, I'm feeling the stomach ache happen. <laughs> Are you for real? I'm saying if you wake up, like, say that we, we had a really fun time on the stream with everybody tonight. We drank a little bit more than we should have. Okay. And then we wake up the next morning, we're like, we have a stomach ache, but it was worth it. Oh, okay, fine. But even still, I would never feel like a stomach ache is something I'm excited about. I'm saying this was the stomach ache of going into school every day and then worrying what that school day was going to be like. Whoops. Right, Cypressin, how have you not been following us? Yeah, see, Adventurist says at least you're having fun. Totally. So... What I'm saying is this was a stomach ache as a second grader going into school every single day worrying what is this school day going to be like. Okay. And this teacher was, um, she's dead now, so I, I think I can say her name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I say what? her name? I'm, I don't, you do I, you. Because I feel like her name is, it, it personifies do it. Do her. It. Do it, it personifies her. Miss Maida. Oh God, Miss Maida. Miss Maida. Like maid, like you think of like old maid. This mm -hmm. was Miss Maida. I actually thought about a French maid though. No, she wasn't a French maid. Okay. She, when I had her, was 76 years old. As a okay. second grader. What's, I'm, I'm 38. I don't want to deal with second graders. And Are you 38? Yeah. Jesus Christ. So are you. No, I'm not. You're 38. I'm literally 37. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Me. You're right. Okay. Holy. Put a pin in that. Moly. And so, um, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. so, so <laughs> she's a 76 year old who literally does not want to teach second graders. <laughs> As a, a kid with a hangover stomach ache in grade two. <laughs> <laughs> in Catholic school. Bella said we've heard this story. Did really? We? I don't remember. My this. mom was, my mom had the same teacher as a kid <laughs> in fourth grade. This you shared. Oh, if that's the punchline, you did share that. I mean, I thought I there was something more I feel like I'm it. still traumatized. Listen, folks, I'm, I'm just... I'm still processing this as a 38 year old processing my second grade teacher. Who That's was totally fine. You're allowed to process your emotions and like work through them. And, and I'm sure that you've never had the guidance to work through them. Yeah. And I'm saying, yeah, Bella said my mom had the same teacher. I mean, I told the story again, but listen, there are some maybe new folks who are joining the stream right now that this was traumatizing as a second grader. I could have gone in with a hangover stomach, but I, <laughs> as a second grader, didn't have that afforded to me. And also your family didn't drink, so you can't, you, it's not like you would have oh, scoured well, the house for exactly. like alcohol or something. Oh, well, we took that to the next level. Like, let's be honest. Who? Us. <laughs> me and you? Yeah. yeah. We're like, you hold this back. We're going to just... One time when I was younger, um, I thought I was super cool. We were at a, a New Year's Eve party. And folks, if you've never been to like a Greek party, like a Greek, uh, a any version of a Greek party, like a wedding or a New Year celebration or whatever, it gets intense. There is a lot happening. There is food, overwhelmingly amounts of food. There is a lot of alcohol. There's a lot of smoking. There's a lot of dancing and it, things get wild and i used to be like let's say a goody two shoes which is sort of a triggering phrase because i was used to i used to get made fun of for that but um i always felt like i wanted to do the right thing and you know drinking smoking whatever was not the right thing and there was this one party in particular where i was like defiant i was like i want to go home I'm sick of being here. It's like four in the morning. Let's all go home and put our pajamas on and go to sleep. And no one was into it. Everyone was doing their thing. Like my dad, you know, my dad, when he gets like that way, like how doing he the is. dance. Yeah, you doing mean? the dance and all of those weird oh, things the Greek that they dance. do. It's so animated, but it's really yeah. great. It's so no, like, it's, not great. it's like, you know what it is? And I'm. I, I, I don't want to offend any Greek men, but I feel like it's 
very like do the move and pose mm-hmm, and do mm-hmm. the move and pose and it's like you are totally just waiting for your shot how funny is that your photo like the photographer to come in and be like that is the picture i've been waiting for chris this is bonkers and mind-blowing and that is a you're little right. it, yeah it's a, it's a little rupaul's it, drag race it's a little, a little america's next top model yeah, yeah. But, uh, i think that it's I mean, I'm here for it. If that's what they're going for and they want to just pose and like do it and do it and do it, I'm like, I'm that's here for it. That's very funny. So they were doing that. And my dad was doing this pose that Chris is talking about. <clears throat> Chris is talking about. And then I became defiant. And do you know what I did? I don't think I ever told you this story. I sit down right next to where my father was sitting. And it's so it was his spot, my spot, um, and then my cousin. And I grabbed his packet of cigarettes. I opened up the package, took one out, put it on my lips, lit it, started smoking. And oh, took, he probably loved it, though. He, and then I poured myself the wine. <laughs> How old were it, you? I was young. I was like 13 or 14. And I, <laughs> I poured myself the wine, uh, put it in the glass, and I started drinking the wine. Oh, assert your dominance. A hundred percent. It was basically like, you want to make me feel a way? This is what you get. And at that age, this was my reaction to the whole thing. Did you paint your nails during that? No. But now I'm all about it. That would no. have been, that would have been, it literally. But I think that you're right you, that my dad was like, probably like, yes, he's not gay. Yeah. It, I mean, listen, what you should have done is pour yourself the wine sip it with like a couple fingers out then put on your like gigantic sunglasses Uh uh-huh and then take the cigarette out but don't smoke the cigarette directly in your mouth Mm -hmm. do the like extension that Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. lucille ball would do or like crella deville yeah do that put that load it up into the little extension and then smoke it and just give him that look he would be upset because that's too feminine for sure, but I he would rather. Like, even though the act I feel is like that would have better communicated your feelings in that moment. Yeah, you're right. For sure, yeah. I think that that is right. But I feel like what I was doing was like, okay, you want me to like suffer through this? Well, then I will do what I'm not supposed to do. But because you're doing it now, I'm following you. You can't get mad at me. That was my like play yeah, to yeah. that. You know. So. That's a lot of emotions. I was a rebel. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't like, ultimately I was not a rebel, but in that moment I was a rebel. And I remember even where I was sitting, listen, we are 45 minutes over. What oh, we we're going to burn like AT&T is on fire right now. Yeah. And I'm surprised that it's like actively working for this long. We have two more things to happen. There needs to be a giveaway and there needs to be a, can Chris get it? So I propose that we start the giveaway now, go to can Chris get it, do the thing. Great come idea. back and then wrap up great idea okay so with that said i'm gonna where do i do that oh god do we not have it even like set up no i think uh we did is this but is it, this the button yeah, i can't but we see restarted. is that the button yeah, that's it all right we folks show the patch like go to the camera we are going to start a giveaway for right, this well, glow look, in the I'm, dark patch it's glow in the dark look it's not i'm Can not getting like, oh, i'm not, not getting, getting up, up. Okay. yeah but too lazy. i'm lazy but it's here says, we are it started we have five five minutes go 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 it, do the chatter rolling his eyes and saying cheese louise all right, we have some coming in. All right, with that said, now I'm going to move to Can Chris Get It. Don't look, Chris. Don't look. Don't look. I'm not looking. Okay. This kind of cracks me up. Oh, my God. I didn't finish this. What do you mean you didn't finish it? It's not going to work right. Listen, folks, you're not going to see us for this, and I'm I'm over it. I don't care. It's a dumpster fire. <laughs> it's fine. All right, so listen, Chris. Uh-huh. There's a bug in here on tonight's can chris get it this is really funny but you and someone else in the stream mentioned a couple of names that are from this can chris get it okay and so what i want you to do is try to identify as many of the names of these horror movie icons as you can okay okay so let's see how that works tell me when i can look you are now allowed to look oh oh my god uh, you can tell me what movie they're from. You can tell me what uh, their name is. I'm, to be honest, I'm going to not lie to you here. I actually don't know who everyone is. Okay. I'm just curious to see how many you know. 
Um, the upper left literally is the most terrifying, terrifying movie that I've ever watched. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's right. I don't know who is it, it really is. that terrifying. I hate it. I really hate it. It's just it just creeps me out. All of the gore and everything that I don't like in movies is in that movie. So you know how Pablo likes the horror movies? Yeah. A long time ago, I'd asked him what's a good like entry level horror movie that's not horrifying. No. Right. He recommended this movie, the original one. The, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre because no. he said it's not gory. No, it's so creepy. I hate it so much. It literally, I I can't watch the it. The only scene I remember from it, why, I've never watched it, but I've seen a scene from it. It's so uncomfortable, but it involves a hammer and the head. Do you yeah, remember that? No. Mm-mm. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's so that bad. That and the uh, hooks and everything. The no. hugs? The hooks. Ooh, what are the hooks? No, no I don't want to know. Like, Let's yeah, not talk about no, it. No, it's terrible. Okay, move on. I hate the it. The reason, by the way, I picked this is because this is directly dealing with like the potential that outside of our campground, you know, Callie might come and murder us or something. So Yeah, the hooks. Sophia, it's terrible. I hate it so much. It's literally No, the worst I don't I, ever. I can't even think about it. But go ahead. Keep going. You got one right. Okay, the ring. Uh that is incorrect. That's not the ring. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was certain about that one. No. I don't know what that is, but it's not the ring. Yeah, psycho geek girl. I can't do gore. I hate it. I don't even want to look at needles. Listen, the medical profession lost a person because of needles. Chris would have been such a phenomenal doctor. Well, it's not going to happen. Okay, next. Um, and then I'm going to just do a pass on that person. Oh, yeah. Do what I, do I you. I think that that is when um, I want to say that is Barefoot Contessa <laughs> cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but that's, that's the best not thing I've Ina ever heard. Gartner as it's a not. child. It's not. I think it's Ina Gartner as a child. Can someone please clip that? <laughs> it's wrong, but go ahead. Keep going. Um, then after that is Jason from um, Jason, the thir- 13th nightmare on the street. No, you just combined a lot of things. So Jason and and the uh, 21 Jump Street. Incorrect. What is... Oops, sorry. What is the 13th? What the 13th? Friday the 13th. Okay, yeah. Okay, got it. What is the 13th Street or something? 21 no. Jump Street? That's not it? Nightmare on... 13th Street. No. Okay, well, moving on. Yeah, we'll, we'll move on. I, I don't know, but that looks like Christopher Hall um, really scared for Dexter 2.0 point left. In. Yeah. Incorrect. Move on. Because I don't know who that is either. That is Scream. Correct. Um, I don't know who this is. Same. I don't know who it is. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. And then, um, yeah, I can't get it wrong if I didn't even guess. I know. That's why I apologize. Excuse this me. This is Hannibal Lecter. Yes. Okay. So you got one, two, three, four out of eight so you did well i got it and yeah i mean i feel like you should the ring who was that the the second one from the top it's i the don't ring. know i let's listen or is that meep Mar- madison elizabeth frank from no, no, the no, harrison no. ford movie? if anyone knows who the the second one in is please let us know um <laughs> pinkin has clipped the barefoot contessa <laughs> oh my god this is so funny so let us know what the second one in is from the top left because I'm not familiar Listen, with that one. Listen, Ina Gartner, she's not mad in this. This She is surrounded by bad... You don't know who that is, really? No, so she... Wait, wait no. Oh, she is around bad folks, and she wants to just cook them a meal, and she's getting a bad rap because of it. Heidi is correct. I feel, and I've talked about this part in our lives in, for a while, I feel like me and you have seen Misery, as in I've forced you to watch the movie Misery. Did I sleep during it? You probably did. Misery is the story. uh, It's a Stephen King story of a super fan. Oh, my God. Bella. (laughs) I'm saying Ina Gartner. I literally follow her on Instagram, Meg. Chris. Bella Meg. And it's 
I know it's Ina Garten. Oh, the birds is bottom left. Wait, the ducks are one. So listen, Chris, a super fan, the worst. a super fan of an author. Yeah. Happens to come across his accident in the snow and he's nearly dead. Okay. She brings him into his home. Oh, you've told me. Is this Bones? It's misery. I literally just said it. Oh, okay. She brings him into his home. Uh Uh-huh. His feet are not working right. Uh She, like, takes care of him. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, this is going to end But then it ends badly, right? And so she's a super fan, and she doesn't want him to leave because, like, you're in my home, yeah. Mr. Brad Pitt. So I'm going to like do Who's whatever I can do. doing the slow creep behind us? Excuse me. I don't know. It's freaking me out. Wait. Are you all seeing that back there? No, because cameras aren't working. Oh, right. So with that said, there's one particular scene that she performs in it that is literal nightmare fuel for me. And I still think about this particular moment. I watched that movie when I was way too young. So that's who that is. That's how I feel about like Freddy Krueger and also Candyman. All of those I watched way too young. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. Blonde Lady was uh, Jason's mom, apparently. Oh, really? It's is not it Michael the mother C. And Psycho. No, I don't think any of them are the mother and Psycho. There's actually wait. A that's not Michael C. List. Hall on the left or no, whatever. No, it's not. But I mean, g- good that you know that. Fine, but. All right, we have a, a, a thing to pick. Well, let's Wait, so did I get it? You, like, got it. Sure, fine. Like a, a like a participation trophy, got it. I'm going to move back to cameras only. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that exactly, but there we are. Um, and we are now going to... The mother in Psycho was a skeleton. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That I know. We are going to pick a winner. Chris, you do the... You do the math or the math, the the thing. Okay, here. this is no, I can do it on the screen. Oh, okay. This is for the cheese Louise patch. That's glow in the dark, and glow I really wish you can see it. Yeah, I mean, we showed it on the Instagram, so we'll make it live. Um, and I'm going to pick it when. Like, should I do it now? You do you. I'm going to do it right now. Red, Red Cypress, Cypress Inn, you in. are a winner. Congratulations. Red Cypress Inn, congratulations. So listen, Red Cypress Inn, you're going to want to email us at therealairstreamers at gmail.com with your info so that we can get it over to you. And you'll also get a Muskrat Nation sticker. Um, if you are a part of the Discord, you can also message me on there. Um, if you, if anyone who's new on the stream who wants to be a part of our Discord, you can type in exclamation point Discord and it will show you the link to join. Uh, we have a ton of fun there. The The community is just phenomenal. They're wonderful, wonderful folks. Um, and so, yeah, that's that. Yay. So exciting. Congratulations. Um, so now, listen, I am starving. And starving. Sh- no. Starving. So we Star- need to go. Starving. This is the last stream that we are going to be doing that is within the Pride like month, I think. Wait, hang on. Uh, Red Cypress in it's the real air streamers at gmail.com. Yeah, I'll type it in so that you could see it. Oh, Mozzie's closing us out with Tater Tot. Oh, thanks. there you go. Thanks, Red Cypress, in for joining us, and congratulations. Um, so, what I wanted to say is that I on Tuesday of this next week, that as we stream again, it's likely not gonna like. Not that I mean, look, me and Chris are gay. I have a heart tattoo. We're gay. This is a gay stream, but we have made it a point to talk a lot about it over the past month. We hope that in any way that's inspired you to be an ally for your friends and family or to be a leader in the community, whatever it was. Um, we both feel very passionately about this. Um, it's been a, a rough part of our lives growing up. And so now that we get to like celebrate it, you know, we will celebrate it. We will do what we need to do and want to do. And I'm here for it. So I hope that you enjoyed this whole month of content that we just put out. Way to close us out. Good job, Elias. Thank you, Chris. Um, And so with that said, we will see everyone on Tuesday. And uh, 
this week one of the two or if not both of the final requested games which is mario kart and uh and uh, Metopia will be delivered so that we can re resume the you know pick a game thing uh but i also do want to play mario golf at some point again because it's a lot of fun and it's ridiculous i have to learn so, it so yes you definitely need to learn it and we'll do that i'll we'll we'll play tonight so you okay. can figure it out um with that said i'm so happy that we finally got online and we got to share our night with you folks you're wonderful wonderful people um thank you so much for being here and we appreciate everything that you do for us yeah thank you guys so much and have a good weekend thank you for we'll tuning into another episode of air streamers and uh we'll see you then bye